All righty. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Junker Town. Junker Town. Junker Queen. Junker Town. Q&A. I was thinking of Junker Town at the time. Listen, I was making sure everything was not as scuffed. It's scuffed. Welcome to the Junker Queen Q&A. We are joined here by Flats and some of the dev team. I'm going to let them introduce themselves. Uh, yeah. Hi. Uh, my name's Jacob. I'm uh, the Heroes lead for, our, or I should say the test lead for our Heroes QA. Uh, hi, I'm Kenny Hudson. I am a game producer on the hero design team for Overwatch. Heck yeah, heck yeah. Well, thank you for joining us. Uh, we really appreciate it. Sorry for the little bit of the delayed start there. We decided last second to put on the, uh, <laughs> the image we have here now, and I still have it a bit scuffed, but it works. And I'm happy with it. Does it, does it and, work? Are we good? It looks like I'm good. Okay, I'm good. I mean, okay. I'm, I'm not moving my that, screen right now because I have the whole scenes. thing in about five minutes here. <laughs> Listen, we did it perfectly. I'm ready. I'm excited for this. Um, thank you for joining us, seriously. Uh, I know everybody's probably excited because we have Beta coming up and, and Junker Queen yeah. is about to be played by everybody. Which... Yeah, no, I mean, she's one of my favorite heroes right now. So, like, Absolutely. getting me to talk about her is not exactly challenging. <laughs> <laughs> Heck yeah. That's what we like to hear. So I guess we'll start right away. What is your favorite part about Junker Queen's kit? Uh, so for me right now, it's her whole kit entirely and how it synergizes because she has a lot of combo potential. You throw out that knife, sticks it, pull him to you, launch that carnage, you're throwing your axe out, you shotgun him in the face, and if there's anyone left, you commanding shout and you just chase him down. And the way that all works together, it's super gratifying and a lot of fun. Yeah, I'm a I'm a huge fan of her adrenaline rush passive. So using boomerang aspect, like when you throw the knife out and call it back, um, and you apply those wounds and you get that life leech, it's almost like you get a second chance after it flies past uh, your target. If you miss your first shot, bring it back, hit the whole team on the way back, get that wound healing. It's really fun. That that sounds really fun. Yeah, like that is. I I can't wait to be able to play because it's it sounds like and, and people have talked about it a bit like you know. I mean, it's been talked about Junker Queen was designed for 5v5, like one of yeah. like the, the first heroes for that. So we get to see this like kind of pretty much the play style you, everybody's been looking for. Like, you know, like get to play aggressive brawl, all that. So yep. aggressive is definitely an Absolutely. adjective I would use for her. <laughs> yeah. I, I, actually, use? I think about the first thing with that, what you said with the, the, the knife, you know, like the Junker Town stairs on first. Like, if you somehow yeah. threw it down the stairs, because like, everyone likes to play on that, and you pulled it, yep. you get everybody like, oh, my God. The whole like, team. yeah. Like, I can well, only imagine too. the steal on that. Because, like, when you're when you're coming in on the first gate of Junkertown, like, people are hiding up at the window, Widow's up there sniping. Like, you smack that knife, you can just pull her right back down. It's like, mm -hmm. ah, nope, you're not going anywhere. That is great range as a tank. I, I, yeah, yeah. Well, I love that. And I, I like the aspect they have, because it's, it's very much kind of like... Uh, like Roadhog's hook, but like a really cool concept to it where you can have like this play, you can make a play off of it. Like, I, I love that. I, I can't wait to see that. So something we talked about or, or we're curious on, how do you think like the experience of, it will be for like tank players now, like Junker Queen in comparison to playing other tanks. Like for example, you know, when you watch Flats play Ryan, he'll charge in and be aggressive, but like, how would that play style be a bit different when we're seeing Junker Queen? I mean, for for her, it's it's all aggression, right? She doesn't have a lot of like her defensive option is the shout, and that's gonna give you some health, but like her kit is all revolved around just getting in there, sowing chaos, and mixing it up. So she's kind of tanky DPS. So like if you're getting tired of like sitting in the back line and hiding behind a shield as a tank player, like this is your pick. Yeah, for sure. I, I'm in total agreement with Jacob there. The, uh, she's just an absolute berserker tank. There's really no one else like her on the Overwatch roster. She's yeah. kind of played how people used to want to play Ryan a lot. Just charge in, keep, you know, pressing that shift, charging in. You can do that with uh, Junker Queen and live. Okay, that's really, really cool. Yeah, I love no that. One can, I... Uh, no one can yell at you for not holding yeah. up the shield because she don't have a shield. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Perfect. Actually, first off, I think that was a little bit of a knock against me somewhat on the charge. Are you trying to say something on that no, one? Not, uh, at all, not at all. I played the same way. So. Oh, okay. All right. You know what? You know what? It's the correct way to play. Don't let him discourage exactly. you. It's the correct way to play. <laughs> uh, oh, I said something about that right away. It's no worries. Yeah. I got that. Well, actually, I actually we're talking about the commanding shout. Um, one of the, the aspects of that is the speed boost. And uh, my question is, uh, with a lot of her kit, like, does the speed boost of her uh, her shout combine with Lucio's? Do they add together, or are they separate? Uh, like, how does that interact? Oh, yeah. Uh, no, it, yeah, they stack. stack. They so, stack? 
Yeah, they stack. Jax. So you can get that mega speed. Like, if that Lucio's running away, you shout and Lucio speed boost, you will chase down oh the other Lucio. God. Wait, really? <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't think no that was the case. Yeah, because I was thinking back to when you would have like when there was like no hero limits and you'd have multiple, you know, you'd have two Lucios and it didn't really stack. You would just time it, but it it stacks. Okay, yeah, it stacks. It stacks. it's it's a lot of fun to play with too. Like we definitely, sure. you know, we've had a lot of internal play tests, and that was something like I tried right away. It was like, okay, well, let me throw on the Lucio and see what we can do, and like it's Sonic, got to go fast. Yeah, wow. I mean. There's always the option to tune it, right? This is beta. Um, if things do end up super broken, maybe we'll go back and, and fix it. But it's mm -hmm. playing pretty well right now in our internal play test, So, Yeah. Okay. And, you know, it's, it's also nice because while it does stack with Lucio, it also gives you another option instead of Lucio for speed boost. Because you can use Junker Queen to speed boost your team instead of relying on a Lucio. Mm -hmm. So that's always a nice alternative. That's great. I think people will yeah. love that because, you know, always relying on your teammates type of thing to pick the correct heroes or whatever, like, puts you sometimes in a weird spot. Mm -hmm. Like, I know on, on Ryan, I've always had that problem where, like, if you don't have a Lucio, you're, you're kind of, you know, you're having a hard time yeah. at that point, you know? So I like that that's incorporated and it makes it more fun. And I think players yeah. will enjoy yeah. that. If, sure. if they're I, I out that. of the range of your Carnage swipe, you can definitely just commanding shout and get within range. That is, that is I awesome. like that a lot. I'm very yeah, happy that, to hear that. Sounds... that. Oh, that sounds so fun. I, I can't wait to, uh, to, to just play Junker Queen. That sounds awesome. So that goes kind of like to the next question now is, uh, who do you think like Junker Queen matches uh, up well against? And who is Junker Queen kind of like weak against? Uh, for uh, me, I think she okay. matches well against uh, Roadhogs uh, with her ult, if you use that anti-healing. Um, and especially I like going after any Reinhardt that has, that's really using their shield pretty heavy. You can use your melee and still, uh, apply wound if you hit like right on the center of that shield, um, with axe anyways. Um, can't remember if it's on the melee or not, but definitely with axe, you can apply that wound. Um, and so it kind of makes the Reinhardt too. have to, oh, on the melee too? Cool. Through the shield um, or are you talking about like walking through it? Kind of walking through it. I guess when you hit that halfway point, like well, no, her her carnage will go through shields. I mean, it's like it's yeah. like any melee, right? You can't you can't barrier through a Reinhardt hammer, right? Right. Mm -hmm. So it's it's the same principle. It works the same, yeah. Okay. Um, so it's a lot of fun making him have to. I don't know. Have that choice of do I drop the shield, or um, do I just hold it up for my team and hope that this Junker Queen doesn't heal herself all the way back up. That yeah. sounds great to me, because I, me playing Rhine is tough. Knowing that I can go Junker Queen now to go up against a Rhine in that matchup sounds really fun. Yeah, and uh, as for who she's weak against, um, definitely an Ana can disrupt uh, anything that she's really doing. Uh, Ana's got the sleep dart, so she can CC Junker Queen, stop her from moving forward. She's got the anti-heal, which is going to stop all the sustain that wound is trying to generate um and really any hero that can stop her movement so orissa being able to boop uh sigma being able to like uh, use the rock um and especially orissa's like being able to spear her back as well like orissa can kind of go toe-to-toe -to -toe with her for for a bit anything that can really keep her away is is going to be her uh her weakness that's that's awesome so far she sounds so fun you really honestly really is. Yeah, yeah, like, really is. You can get in there and mix it up and just go toe to toe with the a lot of comps. It's fun. Yeah, that's and I um you had mentioned Arissa too, which is it's really fun because like I felt like Arissa's playstyle was really fun, like in the beta, and I love that playstyle. Yeah. And it sounds like Junker Queen is also having a very similar playstyle, but just like obviously completely different with how like the kit works. I love that. That is gonna be oh, that is gonna be great. I cannot wait. So. There's something to be said about Overwatch 2 being much more aggressive uh, than Overwatch 1 is right now. For sure. A lot of people like are just going to want to get in and mix it up. I love that. I love that. I that kind of goes w. to... No, I mean... I'm... WM1. Absolutely. Yep. <laughs> Absolutely. The only place to tell I know. Uh, so now, here goes the next question about uh, Junker Queen, because we talked a lot about the kit. You know, it it's kind of appears to be that the skill sailing on Junker Queen is very high. Um, do you see, like... You know, well, okay, so the really question is, like, will we see more heroes like her in Sojourn in the future, where it uh, has a little bit more of that skill sailing, or you know, will we see a little bit of different? 
Yes. I mean, I can't really say about uh, heroes in the future, but like mm -hmm. for her specifically, like she has she has a lot of room to grow for uh, your skill ceiling. I wouldn't say she's extremely high. Um, I'd almost mm -hmm. compare her her skill ceiling similar to Soldier, where anyone can pick up Soldier and play it. The kit is very easy to understand. You kind of know what you need to do, but the more you play and the more you can land your tracking, the more you can land that helix, it's going to come into play. Same with Junker Queen. The more you can land that knife throw, it's going to make the difference. The more you can realize when you need to uh, shout versus not shouting and saving that cooldown, like it's going to make a huge difference for your team. And like that's where I think like her skill ceiling is really going to rise. Yeah, for sure. Totally agree with Jacob there. Um, she's kind of going to be as good as you are with her. Um, you can pick her up. Like I'm by no means an expert Overwatch player. I'm I'm probably middle of the oh, pack. I think last time I did placements, I mean maybe internally, but uh, last time I did placements, I, I was like mid gold maybe. And I feel like I do a lot better as a tank with her in our in our playtest now. So. Interesting. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. So. Uh... I just had to I just had to bring it up because we talked about it a little bit earlier with the the antis and hog. Uh that ultimate uh, how 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 strong is that? Cuz it looks like uh it does a lot of things at once. So how good is that ultimate? Uh, I mean, you're not wrong. It does a lot of things at once. It antis, it wounds, uh it charges and like hits a lot of people at once. Um so it can be a game changer. Uh like most ultimates are, but it all is also balanced by the fact that it has a fairly slow buildup. Like you're not going to be able to use that ult all the time, and uh, it's got a really long wind up. So like, uh, it makes her pretty vulnerable if she just uses it out in the open, because she's she backs up and she starts winding that axe around, and you she makes a huge shout, so it's very telling. And so anyone with CC and some like reasonable reactions can make use of it. And you can't really turn with the ult too, so like you know it's very well possible that like you go out and you miss. And there's been times when like an in internal playtest, I've done it and just gone straight into the well, and just like, well, okay, that was a good use of my ult there. Glad I spent all that time building that one up. Yeah, for sure. Um, yesterday we had a playtest where. Uh, you know, we were talking about Arissa and how she's kind of a good counter to Junker Queen sometimes. Uh, I thought I had the whole team, the whole enemy team in my sights, and I just lined it up, uh, popped my ult, and right when that sound went off, there's kind of like a, a boxing match bell sound effect that goes off. It's really mm -hmm. funny. And uh, that Arissa just picked up on it, speared me in the chest, and ended that ult. A uh, few minutes later, had my ult again. Same situation, saw the whole team in my sights, popped it again, Arissa instantly knew and hit me in the chest. So if you have a good, um, you know, stun on your on your side, you can kind of stop it in its tracks. Wow. You have to really track some uh, cooldowns. It's oh, going yeah. to really hurt. Oh, yeah. You, you definitely need to keep track of that stuff. For sure. Because she doesn't really have any other things to stop a CC. So, like, if there are teams with CC enabled, like, you need to be aware. Okay. That's good to know. Uh, I'm definitely gonna have to track cooldowns on that one, which I still don't do half the time. So I end up, you know. Yeah, you're the first person that goes in the well. I'm just telling you. I know you're gonna do that. The first that goes in the well. Oh, 100 percent. Oh, I mean, I'm I've... already in the well, so <laughs> yeah, I beat you there. Yeah. Oh, 100 percent. So we we've seen a little bit of her uh, primary fire, um, but how strong yeah. is it? Like, you know, is it is it super strong? And if it isn't, is it like intended to be that way? Because uh, we, we we haven't seen a lot of that yet. Um, it's no, it's no Reaper shotgun, um, mm -hmm. but it still can be devastating. Uh, it's it's important to know, like, when we're developing heroes, we need to look at where the power of that hero is coming from. And to us, it's more of a 50-50 split between her shotgun, knife, and axe. So, like, uh, it's it's the combo potential and the situations and where it comes in really useful. And that shotgun has a really tight spread. Mm -hmm. Um, so like you can headshot with it pretty easily. And that's, that's always been my go-to is when I get a knife in and I pull people towards me or I'm like running in with commanding shout, I'm looking for heads. I'm not really looking for body shots. And so when like you pop that head out, like it's people just go down really quickly and you get six shots with it. 
So like, you know, you've got a you got a pretty good like amount of ammo to play around. And because it's tight, you, like you can kind of shoot some distance. Um mm -hmm. so like by all means, it is uh it's it's a nice shotgun and you're going to kill some folks with it. Yeah, absolutely. I'd say it's uh, comparable to like a shotgun with buckshot. It reaches further, but the spread is a lot tighter. Um, okay. It may not do the most damage in the world because, you know, you're going to want to get in on your opponent. But it's good for those moments where you're waiting for your team to like come and back you up and you're just kind of poking the yeah. enemy team. Like you'll definitely mm -hmm. feel it. Also, no, by the way, everyone fun. loves your dog. Like, r like sidebar oh, yeah. question. Like, what's their name? Uh, That's River. She's she's a she's a husky mix. Um, she's got some Malamute, some German Shepherd. Uh, picked her up at the LA Pound like ten years ago. Yeah, yeah. This year is your tenth tenth birthday. Ain't that right? Aww. River is adorable. I just I just Thank I had agree. to I had to, I get it. I had to say agree. that first. I I, I needed to appreciate it. Was, it. It was it was in my soul. Um, <laughs> kind of going back a little bit. Uh, but we talked a little bit about before is like how she played like it seems like she's played more as like a brawl hero but um like what is the like best circumstances to uh to play her like you know obviously you have poke dive brawl etc um what have been the absolute best uh ways to play junker queen and like what uh, environments does she uh use the best can you speak on that at all uh yeah i i wouldn't call her dive um because that kind of you know it gives the impression of like leaping in and then also being able to leap out. Um, she's more of a rush brawl composition, and that's what fits her best because uh, she doesn't have a lot of mobility, um, but she definitely will want to like just push forward. So like her commanding shout can get her in, and it can sometimes get her out, like depending on how you cycle those cooldowns. Um, but any any comp that like generates towards hey we need to be aggro we need to get in is going to be best she's she's not really going to be great at just sitting back i mean there's definitely going to be times when you need to because either like you don't have a good opening they're holding the choke really well um but like you can always use commanding shout to give your team like some buffer health to like get through a choke get to the next like point of geometry hide behind that like wait for your cooldowns to come back poke a little bit more and then engage yeah, okay. I mean, Jacob, again, hit everything uh, perfect. Nothing really to add there. Too good at the questions. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just perfect. <laughs> Sorry, I'll take a step back. Like any answer, Nick. No, you're good. So through her, um, through like, uh, has there been any like changes throughout the design of Junker Queen? Like, was there other stuff you had with uh, Junker Queen's kit before? And then throughout the process, like how many, how many changes have there been? All that in general. Uh, do you want to take the lead on this? Nah, you got this one. It was your example. Um, uh, yeah, no, so um, she's been in development a long time. Uh, we've been working on her since before, like, we kind of went into lockdown mode, so, like, before 2020. Um, so she definitely had a lot of iterations that we went through. Um, there was a time when, uh, instead of her knife, she actually just threw her whole axe out. Um but that ended up being really awkward because you wanted to use your axe, but you already threw it and now you don't have anything to use. And so that's kind of where the knife generated from. Um, she she had a time where like, you know, uh, she was a little bit more overpowered than she is now. But I mean, those those things always come down the line. Yeah, for sure. What I will say is that when we make a uh, when we start working on a hero, Usually every time there's some big hurdle, some technical challenge, some balance challenge, something that we have to like overcome as a team. With Junker Queen, everything was super smooth. Like, yeah, we never heard of those problems. Like we, uh, I mean, there's always going to be a hurdle or or something to get over, but no, nothing major with Junker Queen. Like everything was smooth. Everybody kind of liked her kit and the way she played uh, from the start, with a you know a few exceptions here and there and some tuning. So, um, yeah, really great. Yeah, everything fell into place. Like. Yeah pretty pretty well like uh, kind of similar to sojourn's design because like sojourn like her kit just kind of fit and everything made mm -hmm. sense and so like and especially with us you know this is the first tank for 5v5 like we had to look at that and like i myself uh at the time i wasn't hero's lead uh i was 
um, I was on our world building team, but I ran like the majority of our internal play tests. So like I would see her a lot and play her almost every night and like, oh, I don't know how this is going to work. But to my surprise, like it just all clicked. That's awesome. I guess that would also kind of answer the question we had about if, you know, she ever like broke the game in the original design. But it sounds like it, it wasn't even the case. It was just. You know, there's yeah, there some I changes. I wouldn't say she broke the game, but like she definitely had to go through some tuning passes because like sure. her yeah. her uh, her commanding shout, like I think we had to adjust the speed. It was a little too fast initially, especially, you know, when it stacks with Lucio and then like uh, her the health that you got. It was way too much. She was just really hard to kill. And like it's it's one of those things where when you have a character with a lot of sustain, it's mm -hmm. kind of tricky to balance that because if you do too much, then she's that hero is going to be unkillable. But if you do mm -hmm. too little, you're never going to feel like you're getting anything from the sustain. So like that, that would be the tricky part of um, in her original design. I wouldn't say she broke anything though. I kind of wish I got to play uh, all the speed Junker Queen. That sounds kind of fun. <laughs> um, actually, kind of kind of looping back on that a little bit is uh. What are some of the hero interactions you're most excited from her? I know we talked about like Lucio interactions, but you know what other interactions uh, does Junker Queen have that are like really exciting and fun to play with? Hmm, that's a good question. So, I think I'm a big fan of stacking. Uh, well, not stacking, I guess, but using Junker Queen's ult with uh, Anna's nade, just extending that time that anti healing is up uh, can that's be a lot mean. of fun. Yeah, just a little bit. Uh, I don't know. Jacob, you think of anything? Um, I mean, it's... I don't know about a specific interaction with, like, another hero, like, in gameplay, because, like, it all can, like, work so well, especially, like, when you have a Reaper on your team and you just go ham with that other Reaper and you just help him sustain himself and like you're using commanding shout to help him get in and then like you let him do a lot of the major killing and then you pick off the people running away because like as soon as they're going away you have that knife to still grab them and pull them back it's like no you're not going anywhere and so like that's always uh nice and there's other like non-gameplay here in actions that i'm actually really excited about um her voice lines are just killer the voice actress is just She's doing such a phenomenal job and she brings so much sure. life to the character. And, you know, we're adding like 25 plus, 25,000 plus voice lines. And all of those come out in really fun and interesting ways. Uh, like, I, I know um, there's, there's some voice lines we have right now between Junkrat and Hog where they're like, I, at least I'm not a hog and at least I'm not a rat. And she even combines that where she's like, at least I'm not a hog or a rat. And so, like, there's just so many fun interactions with that. And I'm pretty excited for, like, players to discover those. Because, like, I mean, I we test the game. I'm in there every day. And I'm discovering new combinations and new interactions that happen all the time. I'm like, wait, what? Did they just say it? That's a new voice line, right? Yeah, for sure. I'm always hoping there's a junk rat on our team, like, pre-match. Just because of the interaction between those two specifically. It's kind of the same energy that uh that they had in the uh, cinematic when Chunk Rat pops up. It's that same like, oh my god, he said it. Oh, it's hilarious. Like, it's good stuff. Well, I know if Flats and I are playing the beta, I know what combo will go just to just to get those uh, voice lines out real quick. <laughs> yep. Um. So let let's say that you're playing Junker Queen. What is like a team comp that you you find that Junker Queen works really well with, or if you had to build a comp around Junker Queen, what would it be? Uh, like I said, I'm a big fan of combining her with a uh, Reaper. Um, the Lucio is always a blast. Uh, Anna is is my bay. So having her like being able to uh um keep me healed while I'm engaging is is really nice. And then like Kenny said, you know, being able to uh prolong the anti heal when you build up that ultimate is is always gratifying. Um, so it's really like any any composition that like is going to be brawling centric, like even throwing in a Moira instead of the Lucio, um, so that yeah. you have you have the heal ball, you have her heal spray um, coming in there, and she can dash around and like help you pick off some of those uh, those people trying to flee from your chaos. Like it's it that's where I found that um, 
she could do really well. Yeah, I think I'm actually like the most excited to see what the community does with her and comes up with. Um, that's actually one of the most fun parts about like developing a hero is the community always has a way of unearthing things that we never really thought of. Um, and it's Very really true. fun to watch. <laughs> like, I'm sure we'll come up with some interesting comps because I, I that that play style is going to be so fun. Like I, I just keep hearing about this aggressive play style and going in, and I, I just can't wait to be able to see it's, like how it's that the plays. number one thing. Like you, you hold forward. She just <laughs> wants to hold forward, and so like I mean, it could definitely get you in trouble if your team's not backing you up like anything in Overwatch, right? But uh, she can she can hold her own for a time. Absolutely. We uh we kind of touched on this earlier um about like her being like kind of a high skill uh ceiling hero. Is there any fear she becomes too powerful at the higher level highest level? Kind of like how Trace or like Widow was for a long time. Um, I'm sure people are concerned of you know. Is is there any insight we can get on how broken she can be if you're really good at her? I mean, almost any hero can like really be broken when you're hitting all your shots, right? Uh, yeah. But I don't. I personally don't feel like she's at the same level as Widow or Tracer. Um, like those those heroes can just one touch people so well, and uh, she's still a tank. Um, she's a strong tank, but like she's still a tank. So she's not going to be able to just like one shot everybody right away and just completely destroy a team. Um, so like you still need your team to back you up. And so I, I, I at least me personally, I don't have that fear. No, I don't feel that way either. I mean, it's a easy to learn, difficult to master kind of situation, right? Um, I, I, I think she'll be okay. Oh, that's good. I mean, like, um, we, yeah. I was just gonna say, like, we do have, um, you know, some high high level players on on Overwatch. It kind of like runs the gambit. Like, we have some GMs, we have yeah. some bronze, like, and everything in between. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I haven't seen a situation yet that makes me go, ooh, you know, maybe maybe this is too much. Maybe we, like, really need to tune this down. Yeah. There, yeah, there's some really good uh, really good players on your uh, your GM play test because uh, I remember playing them back early beta or even, you know, alpha time. You know, like, they were, like, I was like, wait, who? Because, you know, we know pretty much the entire GM top 500 community. And I was yeah. like, wait, who's that? I've never, this this person's actually really good, and I've never heard of them before. And then, like, when I got them on my team, I'm like, can I ask, like, who are you? And they're like, oh, actually, like, I'm a, a play tester. I'm like, what? I was like, <laughs> I, I've never, like, I was like, they were West Coast, so, like, I didn't bump into them that often. But at the same time, like, yeah. it was it was, it was was a really an enlightening moment as me as a player to be like, you know, it's not, because, you know, people always talk, and they're like, oh, like, you know, do they have players at high level testing? And like, yes, the answer is yes. Like they're actually really yeah. good. So yeah, hundred percent for sure. Yeah. That was always interesting when flats and I were trying to learn how to play doom fist and we're like, wait, what is we, going on here? Am yeah, I just we, this we bad at doom or <laughs> <laughs> that was the answer. Yeah. So we were the answer was yes. Yeah. We were terrible. Yeah. But well, it, it's funny because like, you know, we have those high skill uh, players on our team, but like, you know, we also have like, you know, your average player on the team too. And that really helps build that feedback to help round out a hero to make sure like, okay, we're not just building this hero where only masters and GM players can play like, okay, you know, there are like gold and silver and like platinum players can make use of this hero and it still feels good. Yep. Which, which seems to be like a lot of the recent design with that too, with Arissa, especially like I mentioned earlier and now Junker Queen, we're seeing that where it can kind of be played on all levels and also really fun, which I think is a really cool concept because yes. I remember yeah. going back to Arissa a little bit too, like how fun Arissa was from the version of Arissa now. And then now we have Junker Queen who just it seems so fun. It's really cool to kind of see like that kind of all come together now and seeing where it's kind of going with a lot of these heroes. Yeah, no, she's she's been my main pick right now whenever I land on tank in our internal play tests. Absolutely. So I'm, I am super excited for next week when everyone's going to be able to jump in and start messing around with her. Oh, Tank cues are probably going to go up. Oh, just, yeah. Just Again? warning you. Sorry, guys. Uh, they were oh, like they will. <laughs> they will. It's yeah, just I... inevitable. Everyone's going to want to be the queen. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'm, I'm sure I'm sure I'm interested to see what console Q towns will be, too, because I know that uh, this will be the first time um, they'll be able to play Sojourn, too, and a lot of like the reworks in 5v5. So I'm interested to yeah. see how the, the Q towns will That's be uh, across the board. Yeah, yeah. it's going to be awesome. Um, So 
We talked a little bit about combos and stuff, but like, have you found like if like Ash Dynamite's in and then Junker Queen goes in, that you'll have like this really powerful like damage over time, or is it like does it stack? Is it combined? Like all that? Uh, yeah, no, it they they stack. Um, I mean, okay. it's just like they're both dots, right? Yeah. Um, it's it's similar to like if the player had tripped Widow Mine and then you hit them with the dynamite, like all that damage is gonna apply. Yeah. So like if if Ash goes in blows them up with dynamite and then junker queen goes in afterwards and throws down her uh her carnage swipe or hits them with the knife that's all ticking damage and that's all going forward that's gonna be interesting to see that's, that's a lot yeah that's gonna be it quite be, the combo it should, it should be important to note that like her wound damage doesn't stack <laughs> like mm -hmm. it will like those durations like they'll overlap so like whatever one is longer that will continue but like if you hit carnage and you hit knife like that's not going to be double dot that's still just one dot like you okay. so you get a lot of her longevity and healing if you can hit multiple people with those things so like if you can get a big swipe with your carnage then mm -hmm. like that's going to give you a lot more damage and a lot more healing okay yeah same thing kind of goes for like the anti-heal right like I mean, you can't really. It's going to layer on top of on top of each other, but you're going to want to try and extend that duration rather than, you know, get them going both at the same time. Yeah, zero times zero is still zero healing. Yeah. <laughs> I did. I did like how that was originally worded. It was like, oh, reduces the healing to zero. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, I'm looking forward to that. That's gonna be that's gonna be interesting. Actually, now, um, oh, go ahead, Flats. You want? Okay, I got it. Um. Mm -hmm. We were actually because we were just talking about her wound a little bit and uh, like stacking them up. Um, when she throws her knife, right, like uh, it, it can stick in for like a second or two. If some, if you melee somebody when her is knife is out, right, like does it still like have the knife? Like how does how does the yeah. melee interaction work? Um, it actually goes back to using just her fist, um, and so you don't get the wound off that. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. No knife. No bleed. But she'll, she can still melee, just like any other hero. Yeah. It's just, like, you'll see her do a punch like this instead of trying to stab instead you trying to stab, with a knife. Yeah. <sighs> okay. That sounds... Is there any other heroes that have that type of interaction where it's, like, different if an ability is being used? I don't know if there is. I don't think so. No. I don't, I don't think so. Have... Like, I mean, this kind of goes back to Kenny's point. Like, there's no other hero on the roster that's, like, Junker Queen. That makes me so excited, though. That... Yeah, which is awesome. Like, yeah. I, I love that. Like, I, I'm, I'm looking, I'm looking forward to that. Out of curiosity, since you know you, you play a lot of Junker Queen, if I have like 50 HP and I decide just to ult with 50 HP and I go in, what's the chances I'll actually survive that? Especially with all the, like the dots and healing you'll get from that. I'm curious now because well, it depends on how many you hit. Yeah, yeah. So so we get one five minutes. Minutes. It's gonna depend it's, it's on how many you. <laughs> and it's also gonna depend on how uh, how fast their reactions are. Because I mean, fifty HP <laughs> ain't much, and yeah. that's that's like a melee and a shot away from death. For so, sure. but if you can hit it, um, mm -hmm. there's definitely been times I've been low health, go in there with uh with her rampage and like end up coming out of it with half health or more, and been like, oh, okay. Actually, that worked out really well. Uh, I don't know how I made that work, but I did. So good job, team. Yeah, uh, especially if there. your shout is an on cooldown, right? Like, yeah. There's a lot of factors. I was wondering on that one because, you know, sometimes I might ult with a little bit low HP. So I wanted to make sure there's a... <laughs> I mean, you can make the it's desperation a dice roll. call. Well, yeah, <laughs> right? Like, that's a that's a desperation play. And yeah. sometimes, sometimes you win big and sometimes you lose all your money. That's Vegas, right? You you gambling with your life? Well, I was just wondering on that one. <laughs> I do I do do a lot of that. I do pin in a lot, really low HP. People don't see it coming. I do. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I'm not even going to speak on that. When you make it a regular, I mean. Mm -hmm. So, um, I I mentioned Roadhog earlier and like Roadhog Hook in general. Um, you know how how do you feel about like? The, the what is like kind of like what would you say the differences are between Roadhog Hook and like Junker Queen's pull? Um, so Junker Queen's pull is more like a reverse boop. Like it's not you're not bringing the enemy all the way back to you, right? Um, so it's got yeah. Like if you imagine like a Lucio ran up behind whoever your target is, however far away they are, and he just booped, 
that's the distance that they're traveling. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like, so it's it's not guaranteed because, like, I know yeah. um, there's a lot of talk right now in the community of like comparisons to Roadhog, and if you look at them on paper, they seem really similar, right? Like, she's got an ability that will pull targets towards her. She she has a sort of heal or sustain. She's got a shotgun. And so, like, without playing them, you can be like, oh, well, this is the new Roadhog. Like, oh, what the heck? But, like, at the end of the day, they play completely different. Completely And, different. like, they kind of fit their own spaces. Like, Roadhog, you're really looking for picks with that hook. Because, like, if you grab somebody, you can guarantee that, like, almost guarantee that death. But, like, Queen, I feel like she has to work a little harder um, to get that death from the knife pole. Because, like Kenny mentioned, it's like a reverse poop. So... It's it's a set distance. You're not gonna always be able to just pull somebody directly into your shotgun like Roadhog can, and like she has a sustain or versus Roadhog's like when when he uses his take a breather like that's immediate health and you're already like almost back up to full and you can get in and out. But like Junker Queen, her healing is mostly dependent on how many people you can hit and how how long you can keep your wound damage going. And if you're not doing wound damage, you're not getting healing. Okay, that 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 makes that makes a lot of sense then. Yeah, cuz uh, I, I love the way Hogs not I really a love brawl hero. No. Especially in probably 5v5 now, like with the way that the Hogs play style is you have to play a little bit more like kind of at like angles and like distance and not yeah. able to kind of just go right yeah. into the team. You can go right into the team, but <laughs> if they have an Ana uh, it can be interesting. And I love the way you describe like the difference in like the hook there where you say it's like a reverse boop. Like w when you describe it that way, I now understand a lot more about how that's going to be with the pull. Like, you can see mm -hmm. the pull, but like realizing, okay, if you know, you're getting booped from, from Lucio, now it makes a lot more sense on like how that actually is going to be with the range, uh, which, is, which is really cool. I actually like the way that's described because it, it makes it a lot easier yeah. for like, me to understand that too, which is really, really cool. I'm sure there's a misconception oh, too with like how far you can pull at the moment because nobody has got to yep. play it yet. Yep. Um, yeah, exactly. So having exactly. that con that frame of reference of a reverse boop mm -hmm. is really good because people obviously saw like the from the gameplay trailer the pull the 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 roadhog yeah. into the well and it looks like you know like obviously he goes into the well but it almost looks like he would have hit the wall on your side like how far does it go but that was just because of his momentum was still going because of it's a boop so that's good exactly enough. yeah it, exactly and you know when we we're doing the gameplay trailer we're gonna make sure it looks real good so yep. <laughs> like it's things are always different in the game but like it's She's so much fun. Which the trailers have been amazing. Like, oh they have yeah, been... no, <laughs> yeah. our video team is just killing it. Like Absolutely. every time they show us something, everyone is just like fanning over this, and like you see our chats like just yeah, crawling. Like, oh chat my blows God! Up the whole team. Yeah, it's so good. I like, get just fun. as excited as everyone else whenever those things drop. Oh yeah, no, I, I bet. Which is I like it. Like I said, I'm, I'm looking forward to. Five days from now, where we get to like play all these heroes and just like Junker Queen, just oh, I cannot wait. That is, oh. that is gonna, yeah, me too. Like, like I said, yeah. we've been testing her for a very long time and we've been working on her and holding on to this. And you know, there's there's been things dropped, and ever since Junker Town first opened up and people like knew that Junker Queen existed, they've been going, Hey, when's Junker Queen? When's Junker Queen? When's Junker Queen? And I answer, I mean, next week. So it's yeah. mm -hmm. it'll it'll be a fantastic time, and I'm looking forward to seeing all the videos that come out, the the compilations, and everyone's reactions. It's it's something I'm really looking forward to. Absolutely, it's always fun giving the community what they've been asking for. <laughs> yeah, right. Dunker uh, Queen's been around for a while too. Like it's been a yeah. long time. Like Dunker yeah. Queen, Dunker Queen, is it Dunker <laughs> Queen? I think it's 2018, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think so. Whenever Junker Town kind of came out, like around that time, like it was just like Junker Queen, Junker Queen, and then eventually here we are. Which I, I mean, I can't wait. What were you gonna say, Flats? I was gonna say I have a little bit of an off the cuff, almost opinion kind of thing. Uh, Lay it on me. So I, I play a lot of Ryan. It's the brawl hero. A lot of people like to play it. Are people that play typically the brawl tank Ryan going to enjoy Junker Queen? Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I I say that because um, so I I personally feel like Reinhardt is living his best life in Overwatch Two right now. Um, like he got a lot of the things that community has been asking for, and that I've also been asking for. 
Um, and so like I I love that. I love that tank. Like just going in with the hammer, getting the fat swings on them, like a being able to cancel charge and put people into the wells, like there's a certain amount of gameplay that I really enjoy with Reinhardt. And so that all meshed really well when I started playing Junker Queen. And like, I'm not going to stop playing Reinhardt as much as I love playing Junker Queen. And so I think people find that like happy medium, you know, of like, oh yeah, this fits my play style. And maybe some people are like, this fits my play style better than it did with Reinhardt. But like, it's, I think people will be very happy. I love to hear it. <laughs> I do too. Uh, th th that's great. I had a curiosity now that we're kind of talking a little bit about that. What's like one of, one of your favorite maps to play Junker Queen on? For me, it's Midtown. Um, couldn't tell you why. I just have a lot of success there. <laughs> like I said, I'm no, uh, I'm no GM player, so I can't tell why I like things, but I really just like Midtown. Um, I think you have a lot of room to use that knife. Um, there's a lot of corridors and stuff like that, so you can get your bleed um, really going if, uh, if there's a lot of players grouped in one area. Um, yeah, big fan. Yeah, I, I think that makes a lot of sense. Um, I like playing her in a lot of control games because uh, there's... The distances are a lot shorter. You can get in. There's a lot of cover you can utilize. Like, um, I mean, especially like on Oasis, right? Like, there's there's some good coverage options you can take there. Okay. It's good that, to know. That's awesome. I like yeah, that. that's good, good to know. It just gets me more excited because, yeah. uh, you know, hearing other people's experience with it, it's fun because I'm going to relate to it a ton. And now, for example, on Control, like, you know, Playing random control, like some maps, like Li Zhang is like good, but like some other maps, like uh, Oasis is kind of tough. But now that I have something else that I can kind of play in that, like those situations where it's like kind of in the middle, like it sounds like this is gonna fit that, and yeah. uh, that'll be a lot of fun for myself and other tank players. So it, yeah, and you know, and like as as with most maps, sometimes it also depends on the point. Like uh, I don't really like playing her on um, Monte Carlo when uh for like the first couple of points like going up that uh switchback can be sometimes pretty difficult when you have all of those open sight lines and so it's harder for her to engage but like once we get to last point like i find a lot of success when everything is kind of enclosed and like you have balconies to run around and and play with okay I, awesome. I like that and i, I like learning that She's good on Midtown because I will say that I was not the best at that map. Uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna so, argue with that. Yeah, I mean, um, I'm I'm definitely glad to hear that. That's 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 really awesome. Um, now, does that also you know does that mean like maps like Dorado, Junk Queen probably won't play the best on too, like on second points? Do you think and maps like that? Yeah, to to a certain extent, right? Like she doesn't have a shield. Um, her her most defensive option is to give uh, people health. So like, it's it's any line any map in my opinion where there's a lot of open sight lines start to get kind of rough for her to play in. I mean, you can always make it work. Like yeah. in Overwatch, you can brute force some things sometimes, right? And just make it happen. And like there are there are the other like flank routes that you can take in Dorado to like avoid those sight lines if you need to. Um, but like it's the easier options are going to be the things that give you cover. You're Actually, just gonna make things harder for yourself. Thinking of it that now, especially with the Lucio comp, one of one of the biggest problems you have oh, yeah. sometimes is going. It takes a bit to kind of take that, like on second point, you go through, you have to go up the stairs. But now that you have that, like essentially double speed boost almost because it stacks, you can actually get that map control a lot easier now with that comp because you can speed boost and combo that and get to places really fast. Actually, yeah. thinking of it now, it, it might be interesting on some of these maps before where we've seen like it's an issue on like you know Dorado with those sight lines, but now you can kind of. Especially with they you, you, uh, on Dorado, they added the wall there now, like at the beginning to go to the right. So now you can just speed boost past that. They can't even get you, and now you have time to set up up there. Actually, I'm starting to yeah, think of all these strategies now. I'm thinking well, of all these strategies. This is, sorry, this is this is what Kenny is talking about, right? Like in yeah. terms of community, is always going to come up with some like interesting tactic and strategies that like totally. we may not have thought of in the moment or that came up in the playtest. And so super excited to see how that meta evolves and how people make use of the things that like we might feel as a weakness at first but then like well actually if you pair it up with this we can actually make this work oh yeah i i, I can't wait i uh i think we're getting close to winding down so before we do 
Um, is there anything that we haven't really talked about that you guys are very excited for or the community will be very excited for? Uh, either playing Joker Queen or seeing uh, her going forward? That I mean, is actually a really good question. Yeah, it's a really good question because we covered a lot. But um, I honestly, I think just the community is going to be excited to see um, kind of the new mechanic in in wounding and adrenaline rush, right? Um, I think will be yeah. pretty refreshing. Um, and honestly, just the energy that she brings to the to the roster and the game is, is what I think I'm most excited for seeing people getting their hands on. Yeah, I I I think that can't be expressed enough. Like, there's a certain feeling that I have when I'm playing her, and we get into a heavy brawl situation. Um, there was a uh, was it control center on Elios. Um, I was in a game and uh came from top of the stairs uh full team engagement shouted in like so i know my whole team just got buffed with a bunch of health were speed boosted going in i hit carnage i wound like three targets and so like i know i'm doing a lot of damage i shotgun somebody in the face they drop i shotgun somebody in the body they're almost dead my teammate takes him out i shotgun another person in the face they drop and then i see uh Zenyatta like trying to float away and it's like no and I knife him in the back and pull him back into the fight and the quiet across the field happens because the fight's done we won and my heart is still racing and I'm just yeah. like oh that that felt good like yeah. there's a very satisfying feeling when you play her and like when everything all of her cooldowns are working and her kit is synergizing really well like that's the thing that I'm really looking forward to most and like wanting other people and the rest of our community to experience for themselves. Yeah, absolutely. I think we were just talking about it yesterday, Jacob and I, that I get this certain feeling in my chest after you finish an, ex an engagement using Junker Queen where you're just like, whoa, like my heart is racing right now. And it's, it's a lot of fun. What's amazing about that too is like that description of like on control center and, and that in general is like, it, it felt like you described the gameplay trailer because we see that really fun stuff in that trailer to like know that that's you know what you're experiencing when you're actually going in there and playing it against people and doing all that sounds amazing. And that actually also got me thinking too is on some of these maps like you could like sim TP out of spawn, speed boost to the. I wonder where like some of the engagements on these maps are going to start now because like normally like on Control Center you'll start in that middle room on the side when you both go up the stairs, but now yeah. that you both can sim TP and then speed boost and then go all the, like I wonder where these engagements are going to start now on these maps because. Sorry, I'm just going into this whole thing where I'm thinking about no, all these no, things. No, no, you're, you you're do, fine. So. I mean, like, there's a lot of things that can get set up. Like, there's been times yeah. where, like, you know, I'm, like, waiting around the corner listening for the team to come up. And as soon as I know they're about to hit, I start winding up that carnage and then come around the corner already swinging. And then, mm -hmm. boom, I'm in their face. And, like, they have to deal with me. That's awesome. I, 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 I can't wait. I'm so distracted by River. I'm not going to lie to you at this point. <laughs> Aww, River is so dumb? cute. Oh, thank Whoa. you. Aww. Everybody has been wanting River to get head pats. Yeah, Aww. she deserves it. She's a good girl. Like I said, she turns 10 this uh, this yes. year in, in August. So, But she's she's still lively. And she's still running amok around this apartment. I waited like 10 minutes to say that. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> worth. Absolutely worth. Yeah, that's for the internet. Ain't that right, though? Mm. I love dogs, so... Yeah, I'm just enjoying this part now. This is amazing. <laughs> this is my favorite. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we could just run the rest of this stream of Petting River. That's that's totally feasible. Yeah, I think we only got a couple minutes left, so... Yeah, yeah. I, th I think we're actually just about out of time, actually. I, I think so, yeah. I, I think... It, we're, we're getting close. It's been amazing. Thank you, like, thank you so much for answering all these questions and, like, talking about Junker Queen in general, like... I know we're all excited. Oh, there's my cat. Hey, oh, hey, you wanted to say hi too? <laughs> Silly. Yeah. Getting my jealous. Cat. Hi, buddy. Yeah, thank you yeah, for thank for having these two and like communicating oh, with us. You. Like we it, yeah. we really do appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, this no, was a lot of fun. Thanks for having us. Yeah, no, this is this was truly a pleasure. Uh, I've been a big fan of you guys for a while, so like it's it's nice to have that time to actually have a conversation with y'all. Oh, much love, man. Yeah, yeah, we appreciate that. Seriously, thank you. That is that is awesome. But yeah, I think that um, I know I, I we, we could I mean we could actually you know see some some more pets for a little bit there if we want. Uh, <laughs> but you know we we can uh, we can 
we can we can we, we can uh, uh wrap it up now thank you so much for for joining us thank you for being here seriously um kenny and jacob we, we really appreciate it like this is this was awesome um and and and, and like flats and said we really appreciate um you know all the communication just just hanging out here and it, it's it's been awesome seriously thank you so much um you're more than welcome yeah with that, our pleasure truly heck yeah heck yeah with that being said i think we're gonna we're gonna hop out of here let me go over here and I have this all be professional. It, my 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 setup definitely wasn't scuffed. There wasn't like a pixel to the right on any of the webcams, for sure. Definitely oh, not. Yeah. No, of course um, not. So what we're gonna do over here is I'm gonna go over here and set this up to where it's gonna go back to the image. Thank you everybody for watching. Um, we oh, appreciate y'all. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm let's do, do it. I'm gonna do that time. too. Then. Okay. We, we, we appreciate y'all. Thank you for watching. Uh, we're gonna go set up the image here. Uh, remember the beta will be out on the 28th. I can't wait. And this is the part where we just kind of stare at the camera while we, uh, this is what we usually do with Flats and I, we'll stare at the camera as we go into the screen to change here. Here we go. Wait, you didn't swap um, it? I swapped it. I'm I haven't done now. it yet. No, I haven't done it yet. Wait, wait a second. You're, well, you're, you're confusing me. <laughs> I'm confusing myself here <laughs> now. One second. One of us can wait, run this. We can't both do it. I'm the wrong image it. here now. Wait, one Somebody second. Wait, wait, wait a second. There we go. And. Okay, we're good to go. I have the sound right. off too. Awesome. <laughs>